Hello! Welcome to the Code Instinct. In this quick course, I'm going to show you on how to create an awesome zoom and image effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Without any further ado, let's get started. Here, we are going to preview what are the files that I have created in this project. As usual I've created the main folder called my project. In the main folder, I have prepared an image that will be used for this project. The next file is an HTML file called index.html. The last two files are blank CSS file called style.css and blank JavaScript file called script.js. That's all for the file preview, and let's moving on to our HTML file. In this part, we are going to set up everything that we needed as the basic structure of this project. First of all, I'm going to explain you what is in the head section. In the head section, I have already included custom font from Google Fonts. If you don't know how to add custom fonts using Google Fonts, don't worry. You may click on the video suggestion at the top right corner of this video. Also, I have included both CSS and JavaScript file in the head section. Now moving on to the body section. In this section, I will add sample text and the main diff as image wrapper. Inside the image wrapper, I'm going to add image tag that will contain the image that I have prepared and one diff that will be a zoom preview section. Don't forget to save the file and we will back again to this section to add some stuff later on. After we finish the JavaScript part. Now we have the image and sample text appears in the right section. Everything looks good. And now let's continue to the CSS part. In the body section, I've set margin to just 0%, width set to 100% and following with the background color. And then, I added some font customization to the sample text to make it suit to the image theme. For the wrapper section, I'll set the width just 80% of the body width. Set the position to relative and margin as seen in the video. In the next section, I will set up a rectangle that act as a lens that will zoom the image bigger. I set the position as absolute with one pixel white rectangle border.
Also, set the width and height to 40 pixel. In the last section, we're going to set the area where the zoomed in image displayed. For this section, I chose teal as the background color. For the area size, keep it follow the size of the original image with the height of 300 pixel, width 500 pixel and float set to right. Alright, we are finished with CSS file. Double check again your CSS file of the missing part and make sure everything is fine. Don't forget to save your file. Now we can see the original image and zoom in area has been created. But however, the zoom in area is still showing nothing. It means that, we should continue to JavaScript part. I'm going to create function called image zoom. In this function, we're basically setting up things that will be needed to this project. Including, setting up the lens that will zoom the image bigger and enabling the feature for touchscreen that allows to be used in mobile phone. Inside image zoom function, I will add another function called move lens function. This function will mostly handle cursor and the square lens stuff. Things such as getting the cursor position, calculating the position of the lens, display the lens view coverage, and also prevention thing like to prevent the lens being positioned outside the image are included here in this function.
Now, the last function. This function will get the coordinates x and y of the image and calculate the cursor's coordinates relative to the image. We're not done yet. We need to initiate the zoom effects in the HTML file. Now, let's go back to HTML file. Here in the body section, add the script tag under the image wrapper div. We will call the image zoom function that we have created previously in the JavaScript part. Now everything looks good. Save your file and now run our project. There you go. The area now is displaying the zoomed in image and it looks awesome. You may start explore anything inside the image with this. To be noted that, if you're using bigger resolution you'll get the clearer zoom in result. Remember to always use a big image resolution, otherwise you will get blurry image. Thanks for watching. If like this tutorial leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on notification to get our latest video update. See you in the next video.